Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be of what's in my makeup travel bag and what I actually used. Um, some of you may know that we recently went away on our mini moon, so to speak. We got married not too long ago and then we went for a few days in Brussels and then we went for a few more days in Hampshire, sort of back to back. So we had a week of travelling about, which was lovely. And this is my makeup bag. So these are all the things I obviously brought with me and I didn't want to have to unpack and repack the bag, so I kind of brought everything I could possibly need. Yeah, so I'm just going to dive in and show you what I actually used and um, what I thought, etc. So the first thing is this number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation. I like this foundation. It's a good full coverage foundation, especially for the evenings and things like that. And when we were in Brussels, it was super warm. So it was really nice having something like this just to make sure it stayed in place and didn't leave me really shiny. I'm in the shade Calico and I definitely did. I used this a few times when we were away and it's a really good foundation. like it a lot. Next out is the Illuminating Touch Concealer. I actually didn't use this at all when we were away. I've used it today, but I didn't use it when we were away because I kind of kept my makeup to the minimum because it was so, so warm during the day and I didn't really use it then in the evenings. I didn't really need it too much. So I didn't actually need this when I was away, but I would always bring it with me just in case. It was the only concealer type thing I brought with me. Now I have my Urban Decay Basics Palette. This is just for blending and increase and all that kind of stuff. I actually didn't use this when I was away. Um, yeah, I didn't use it once. I'm not sure if I would always bring it. I would ch probably check what's in the other palettes before I would grab this again, but it is a fantastic um, companion palette. Definitely recommend it anyway for your collection, but not sure if I would need it when I go traveling, depending what other palettes I bring with me. Now, the next eyeshadow palette, this is the Primal Instincts palette from Sephora. You've probably seen me talk about this before. I used this palette the most. In fact, I think I only used this palette when I was away because it's just got all the shimmery kind of shades that you could possibly need. And they're so creamy and they've got great pigmentation and they blend out lovely. Mostly I used these shades down along here, so all these sort of ones. And then I had uh, these for sort of, I have this all over the lid today. And this is great for blending up to your brows. And I use both of these darker matte colours, the black and the brown, as eyeliners as well. I didn't really, I did use actually, I used this bronzier one. But I didn't use these three. I think these were the only sort of ones I didn't touch when I was away on that one as well. But this is a really good palette. I absolutely love it. I got this with my swap with Rebecca lately and... I absolutely love this palette. I have to keep putting it to one side to make sure I use other eyeshadows, but really, really love this. And it was just a fantastic palette to bring away when we were traveling. It was just so nice. I kind of just wore one of these colors on my lid and blended it out. I didn't even bother with the crease color half time. So we just intensify slightly in the crease, and blend it, and it worked really, really nicely. Such a good palette. Really impressed with that. Used it every single day without a doubt. Now, the next thing I'm pulling out, this is my Duorific Duor lipstick. The per packaging is all bashed. I don't know why but I still keep it in the box. I love this lipstick. This was actually the lipstick I wore on my wedding day. I wore this over just a red lip liner and it's just an utterly beautiful red lipstick. I'm going to do a wee swatch. It's kind of on the pinkier tone of red. Does that make sense? It's just beautiful. I didn't actually use it though when we were away at all. I thought I might if I was going for some kind of basic and just a red lip but didn't use it once, which is unfortunate because the box got an utter bashing for nothing. <laughs> now I've got my Revlon, um, just a bit in Kiss with Bam Stain and Honey. I did definitely use this. I kept this in my handbag and if I wanted to touch up my lipstick and couldn't be bothered wearing a brighter colour, this was just brilliant to have. Next out is a pair of eyelash curlers. Use these every day. They're kind of a bit grubby now. Really have to clean them again. But yeah, these are the Kevin Aquan ones. I love them. They're not spring loaded or anything, but they tend to get most of my lashes in there. I have a lot of lashes, which is brilliant, but a pain in the bum when you're trying to curl them. Now, I have the Bourjois Happy Light um, Master and Primer. Did I use it? Yes, I used this a few times. Uh, I used it in conjunction with one of the other foundations that I wore pretty much every day during the daytime. This is grand. I'm gradually working my way through it. I will get there. Now, my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. Yeah, use this every day. Love this stuff. 
great finishing powder after you've set everything this is lovely just to sweep over your face and my bare minerals mineral reveal and it's the original this is another one i really really love as long as you buff it in properly it sets everything really really nicely and doesn't add too much more coverage or anything like that so really really like this would definitely recommend it now the next thing is another eyeshadow palette this is from revolution and this is the lock and load palette this has got all the lovely colours. I brought it just in case I fancy doing a colourful look and I have so many options with this, with the blues and greens and olivey tones and you know, you name it. Didn't use it once. Didn't even reach for it. It's a nice palette, but I just didn't need it. It was too warm to do anything fancy with your eyes, really. I couldn't be bothered. Um, next thing out is my Dandelion blush from Benefit. Love this blush, as you can tell, because I've thoroughly hit pan on this blush. Really like it. Did actually use it a handful of times. It's a nice soft pink, so if I just went with something light on my eyes, nice soft pink, honey, um, balm stain on my lips, sorted. It was nice. And another one, which you think, well, why do I need a second pink one? This is a different kind of pink. Spot the beauty blogger. This is Dollface from uh, Amazonian, or the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is a lovely blush. This is much more of a vibrant pink compared to the uh, Benefit Dandelion. This is a lovely, lovely blush, and I did did wear this as well. So I kind of alternated between the three blushes. I've got this one, this one, and this other powder blush, which is from Milani. And this is more on the corally peachy tones, and it is in, it's just Luminoso. Oh, and really like this blush as well. It has got that wee bit of highlight in it as well. So it had a nice glow without being too shimmery and in your face. So I kind of wore these three blushes the most when I was away. Another blush is this cream blush from Bourjois. Uh, this is um, 03 in Rose Tender. This was fine. I think I maybe used it once. I kind of didn't really need it when I had the others, but this is definitely, it's a nice one if you're going for a really bare face and you just want, as I said, just bare minimum makeup. Minimal makeup even. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. But this was fine. Um, didn't really reach for it though. Didn't really need it. Shouldn't have brought it. Next thing out, a pair of tweezers. I did use these when I was away. You always need a pair of tweezers just in case. The next foundation is the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. I didn't actually use this at all when I was away in the end. No, that's a lie. I used it once. I would probably have used it more if it wasn't for the fact that I brought a few samples with me that I wanted to use up and they lasted much longer than I thought. But this is a fine foundation. It's in my project pan. I just want to use it up, really. But didn't need to bring it. But I didn't know that when I was packing. I wasn't sure the samples were going to last so long. Speaking of samples, I shall just show you those now. It's the Dior Nude. It's the um, the Nude Skin one. Uh, it's not the foundation, but it's the lighter version of the foundation, if that makes sense. I'm in the shade 010, and because it's a lighter foundation, it matches me really quite nicely, and I can get away with it on a daily basis. And I wore this pretty much every day during the day because it provided a tiny amount of coverage and even your skin tone. I brought it down to a nice finish. And it was just lovely. It's lovely on the skin. And I'm thinking I'm going to buy a full size of this for my birthday. It's my birthday in a few weeks. So I may treat myself to a full size of this. I absolutely love this foundation. But it's dead now. I can't get any more out of these. You can see where I've sort of scraped them and stuff. And this one's dried up too much to get any more out of. So really like this foundation. I did actually do a review in it, I think, when I was doing the wedding series when I was trying to find the right foundation. I will leave a link to that down below. Next up is my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. You can see I'm really getting through this. <laughs> I like this foundation uh, primer. It's great with most foundations. And if I thought my face was slightly dry of itself, I would always reach for this rather than the matte one. Um, I did use this a handful of times. I generally use it with the matte foundation, so I use those together. Um, yeah, really like this. Did use it a few times when I was away, but generally only a handful of times in the evening. My MAC Peterly Paint Pot, and I use this every day. It made my uh, eyeshadow stay in place, considering it was so warm, it really helped keep that in place. The next thing I have out is my Color Lash um, Mascara from Collection. Now this should be clear, but I use it on my eyebrows, and you can see the brow powder, it looks a bit grubby. I use this to set my eyebrows, I use it every day. It's great for doing that, I must get a new one, because that's pretty gross now, really. Next is my Urban Decay 
uh, Do Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This was new before I went away. It's now pretty gross. Um, this is great. Use it every single day just to help set my makeup before I went out because it was so, so warm when we were away. This is just really, really good for it. I'm really sorry if you can hear loads of seagulls. For some reason, somebody keeps feeding the seagulls and they just hang about, which is very annoying, really. Anyway, I have my Rimmel Scandalize uh, water eyeliner pencil in black. Um, this is the waterproof one. And I think I did, I used this maybe once or twice. I don't think I really needed to bring it with me because I didn't really go for that look when I was going out. I've used it today just to line my waterlines and stuff, but yeah, I don't know if I should have brought it or not, but it's always good to have a black eyeliner pencil just in case, but however. I brought my Jordana Fabu Liner Liquid Liner. I didn't use this once when I was away. I'm just not the best with liquid liners. I've used it today just so I can start using it again because I've used it a few times and I don't want it to dry up before I've used it a few more times. I'm just not really very good with uh, liquid eyeliner. I think I'm better with gel and with pencil. Now another blush, shouldn't have brought it, is the NARS Orgasm Blush. You've all seen this before. I rarely actually use this blush for some reason. It gets forgotten in my drawer. I think I'll be putting this in my weekly makeup basket. I'm recording this after that, but you'll see that one first. So expect to see that. Oh, I don't know why I'm saying that. Anyway, but yeah, there's that. Um, mascaras, I use the Physician's Formula Organic Wear and the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. These are great mascaras. I like them together. I'm wearing them today together. Really like them. Would definitely recommend them. I use them every single day when I was away. Now, my eyebrow powder, the um, Beauty Expert brow from, where's this from? Sigma. And it's in Scarlet. I use this every day. It's a great brow powder. I prefer a slightly different colour, I think, but I used that every day when I was away. It's the only brow powder I use at the minute, actually. Now, for lipstick, I have Shocking Coral Colour Sensational. Um, this is from Maybelline, obviously. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yes, Maybelline. <laughs> Sorry about that. But love this. I'm actually wearing it today. I think I used this once when I was away. Yeah, I just brought it in case I wanted a coral lipstick, basically. It's always good to have a bit of variety. Another lipstick is my Revlon uh, Super Lustrous in Pink in the Afternoon. I wore this once as well when I was away. This is lovely. I don't know what's up with my white balance either. Everything's something wrong with the camera since I got it back from my friend. I need to sit down and figure this out really before I record. Sorry. But this is a lovely soft pink and I wore this with this lip liner. My hands are so dirty. <laughs> I need to clean my makeup bag again. Uh, this is a lip liner from Rimmel in East End Snob and this is a great sort of pink lip liner just to use and it worked really well with pink in the afternoon. It did change the colour ever so slightly but it made it that bit more wearable for me. So wore this I think once, possibly twice when I was away. Um, I have Stila Kitten. Oh no, this looks like it got bashed. Oh, bomb, it's broken. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can press that down. I've got some alcohol stuff. How annoying, because I only used this once when I was away. That's utter rubbish. How did it get broken and everything else is fine? Seriously? Ah, uh, so I love this eyeshadow, but I did only wear it once and I shouldn't have brought it because I had the eyeshadow palette that had all the shimmery colours in it and I used it instead of using this and this is broken. <sighs> Disappointing. Anyway, yeah, I shouldn't have brought it. I didn't really need it in the end and should have just left it at home. Next are the Bourjois uh, Matte Finish in... Uh, oh... From Bourgi, I can't even, it's 02. I used this once or twice. Oh, it's so dirty. Oh, this is annoying me, I have to clean them. I used this once or twice, but I actually used it together with this. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in uh, Vanilla Cream Pie. This is a really nice sort of soft, creamy pink, as you can see. And this worked really well with this because I was looking to get a certain color. So I mixed these two to get it. There's something about the smell of this, and I don't know what it is. I don't know whether there's a confusion in my nose, but it sounds a bit gross. Kind of reminds me of the taste of blood that you get if you bite the inside of your lip. I'm trying to get it so they match again, it won't match. Um, do you know what I mean? Sort of that irony kind of 
taste when I apply it and the smell, I don't like the smell of it. It's kind of, there's something about it is quite off-putting for me to apply. It clearly isn't blood or anything to that effect, but it's related to something like that in my head and I'm making that connection when I apply it. So I don't use this very often. So it was quite nice to put this on over the top just to get rid of that weird taste and also to make quite a nice color. But yeah, I don't use this often enough because of the weird connotations in my head. Um, but this is a nice color and I did use these. I think I definitely used them about twice when I was away. So it's a good combination. Next is the Maybelline uh, Color Sensational Pink Punch. This is another vibrant lipstick and it's a lovely, lovely pink. I really like it. Um, would definitely recommend it. Used it once when I was away. Now, my Lipstick Queen lipstick that I utterly love in Rose Thinner. I think this was my default kind of lipstick when I was away. If I couldn't decide what to wear. It's looking a bit sweaty. It's so warm here. I've got the windows closed and everything. It's so, so warm. I've got a heat wave. But this is a really good lipstick. I need to put this into some cooler storage ASAP. Uh, really enjoyed it. Would definitely recommend it. Did use it when I was away. Glad I had it. And two more lipsticks. Cream Sheen and Fanfare. Didn't use this once when I was away. From MAC. Love this lipstick, but just did not use it once when I was away. And another one, Pink Nouveau. I did use this when I was away. It's a lovely lipstick, nice and vibrant, but not too uh, neon toned. It's more of a, just a nice pink, which is nice and bright. Um, used that when I was away. And pencil sharpener. Didn't use pencil sharpener once when I was away. Oh well. But that is it. So that is it for what was in my makeup bag. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm now going to go and clean the makeup bag before I put it away pretty gross but thank you very very much for watching please like if you like please subscribe if you like and I'll see you in my next video just quickly if you want to see any clips from the wedding I have done a wedding vlog of sorts so I will link that down below just for this week I'll just put it in every video so you can see that yourself but that's it so thanks a million for watching and I'll see you in the next one